50. Yeah, it's 50. Okay, so here you don't have any messages that you had troubles with uh, D value. Yeah, so you can see uh, the maximum value here is one. So it's in the normal range. And so this is analysis is completed in uh, just normal correct way. So you can just trust, trust this result and just use it as the final result. So it takes more time, but you can get the real result, so which is not affected by uh, false signals or just just not correct correction of the Zeeman uh, for saturation region. So here you can get the real value. Okay, would you like to try something? So I can show just what I have changed, just to have this control. Mm. Just here in modes, for example, mode 1. So I have just established here these uh, parameters for a closed loop system. And now it's just controlling what's going on. If signal is uh, going to the values higher than L1, so uh, software is taking control of the temperature profile and trying to keep it between L1 and L2 so the signal should be in between uh, if it's rising too fast so it's not waiting until uh, this threshold will be overcame, overcome overcame and it just uh, measuring if uh, rate of increase of the signal is more than 200 units per second it's taken immediately control the same is for background also two thresholds and the rate of increase of the parameter also we can use this and this uh, control usually we are using for uh, rich in organics samples like crude oil for example and uh, signal control for just high concentrations yeah so system is reacting on this Okay, questions? Queria agradecer a presença de todo mundo, queria agradecer as pessoas que nos assistiram. É, toda essa apresentação vai estar disponível no nosso site. As perguntas vocês podem é, dirigir para nós, novas perguntas, novas questões que vocês possam ter. As informações vão aparecer depois é, na apresentação. E é, foi um prazer poder tê-los e nós gostaríamos de agradecer. Muito obrigada.